Hey, Sir Zoo, welcome to the video. Today we're playing Power Wash Simulator. You can see right here, it's in early access still. So an upside of that is you know there's gonna be more content coming in the future. And the downside would be there's gonna be a little bit of bugs and glitches. Gotten pretty far in career mode so far. One thing I haven't tried out though is specials. You can see they got the little Land Rover up here. Not Land Rover, Range Rover, Mars Rover. Anyway, some kind of Rover. Ah, the Mars Rover. So it's a special, so this is all you get. Basically, they did dictate how you're gonna clean it. Are they watching you? Is that what that's for? Yeah, you don't have access to the shop in this mode. Little alien tracks. They shut down for being too dirty. What are these aliens nosing about the rover for? Get out of here. Wait, can I go over all the way over here? Is this where they're hiding? Dude, is that alien blood? Did they cut themselves in this terrain? Did they cut themselves in the garden gnome? Is that an alien gnome? Yeah, get out of here. Oh, that's right, gravity's weird. Wait, is my gravity weird? Mm, kinda. So one of the bugs I found in this game... So one of the bugs I found in this game is if you duck down to the lowest level and then you jump, sometimes it launches you up into the air. Then this mystery hatch. So anything in this game that's made of metal has the ability to have rust on it. And rust is a little bit harder to clean. Also, this is the weakest nozzle, that's the 40. Go to the zero. Cleans rust much more effectively. Also, it's not really how pressure washing works in the real world, but that's why it's a key. Because the amount of pressure it'd take to knock off rust, it wouldn't maintain its original paint. Even though I don't think this is paint, it's probably just copper or something like that. Leave the little alien dudes home for him. And come outside and be like, ooh, it's shiny. But if there's rust, that means there's a lot of water around. Ta-da! Clean your hatch, buddy. I'm gonna jump on it. Clean you off. Nope, out of range. What's all these rocks specifically here? And not over there? You hoarding rocks? You trying to keep this thing from moving about by putting rocks around it? X-ray spectrometer. 11%. Is 11% just to clean that little hatch? It means there's not much to this rover. That'd be an average of 10% uh, per item. Wait, is that alien blood? You run them over? And that's why they went home? You go tell their little alien buddies or this evil creature out there, ran them, ran them over. Or if there was a person controlling the rover, they think they're playing Grand Theft Auto Mars Edition. I wonder if there's going to be more to this, too. I mean, uh, the career mode, there's a lot of story. Well, there's not really a lot of story. There's, like, an underlying story to it. But there's also a lot of character to it because you get messages from the people in the game. You never really see anyone, though. The only thing you really see in this game is it's a cat. Which is the mayor's cat, Ulysses, likes to hide around town. For some reason, people will have a hard time locating him. So, just... I'd say this game is good for, like, uh... Well, would it be good for people? You just want to relax, do something mindless, 
or like methodical. Because you can just go back, forth, back, forth. That's why what I generally like to do when I'm playing is I'll put on like a video in the background, just kind of zone out while I'm cleaning. So I guess it could seem kind of tedious when you get in the levels that are you have to clean something really large with a lot of small items on it. But a good thing is you don't have to clean 100% of an item for it to be considered clean. It's more like 90 to 95% of it. Well, most things are like that. It probably seems to be on an individual basis. Also, there's no real music in the game, but there's a music slider. I think the only place I've encountered music was at a was at a carnival type level. More just ambient noise and everything than anything else. Oh, that's that. It's an alien boot. That's why it's not moving. You put a boot on the rover. Was it parked illegally, or you did that because it ran over you? You want to get revenge, you make sure it doesn't move anymore. And so they sent me here to clean this thing because they think that's why it's not moving. I get here now, nah, there's a boot on there. Do I have anything to cut through it though? If you had water at a high enough pressure, it would cut through it. Also depends what kind of metal it is. Probably some sort of weird alien metal. There's another thing. I don't have access to the shop right now because this is a special level. But in the shop, you can buy this little thing here. It's a soap dispenser. And you can use that to clean specific materials. So when you hover over a certain item, it tells you what it's made out of. And so that tells you what cleaner you need. Let's see, so the, this specific body part is plastic. And so this is all the rest of its metal, basically. Maybe I, so the cleaners, they're supposed to clean a large area at once. But it can be hard to justify sometimes because it doesn't necessarily feel faster to me. This is ten dollars for each container of cleaner. But this is free. That could be some frugalness to it. I just don't want to spend the money. Yeah, man. Hey, rotate the little nozzle. Watch your head. Bing, ba, bing, 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 bing. Please do that. Nice and relaxing. Just clean your dirty self. Even though I kind of don't see the point. I mean, look at all this dirt everywhere. This thing's going to be dirty again in another half hour. This also isn't even the dirtiest thing I've seen in this game. Probably the way they start you out with the 45. Or the 45 degree nozzle. Because this is good for like surface dirt. It's just the rust that's a problem. You need the higher pressure to clean out rust off the middle. Ba -ding. You gotta look at all the cracks and crevices for the dirt. Let's see the arm. There. Body mounted sensor. I see, right there. Are you there to monitor my progress? You bothering me, see? You think I'm gonna steal this thing? Also, you got one for the air, why wouldn't you just use that? Because this one says arms. But this doesn't really interact with anything, does it? Doesn't have any hands. And there. So once you get down to only three types of items left, that shows you the list on the left. So it makes it easier to get those last few things. And as long as it's only three types of items, it doesn't matter if you have multiples of those items left, it'll show that too. So like it'll say two times tire, two times monitoring station. That's one of the things they do to keep it from being a little bit too tedious. Oops, spraying the wrong stuff. I know what it is now. So the hub is this little golden thing right here. Well, not golden? 
chrome? Not even chrome, it's just weird. So there. Okay, I saw it. There. This one. Well, of course this one is covered in a clamp. Duh. See? That's the weird jump thing. Come on. Can't go there. Stupid arm, get out of the way. That angle. I'm over here. Come on. Give me the ding. There we go. Now just the tire itself. So I stand here? A little bit left. Where's it at? The top? Bottom? Bottom that I can't reach? There we go. Now, what's the monitoring station look like? Body mounted sensor. Ah, so it's this thing? One of these little red dudes right here? There we go. And then they give you an overview of how you cleaned it. Which I think has to take a picture every number of seconds or something. Well, that's my assumption anyway. Restart the job? No new one? Is this it? So what else could you possibly do that'd be like special? Maybe Air Force One? The interesting thing about that though, is this says specials, so unique cleaning opportunities. You don't have access to the shop, you have access to only a specific set of equipment. Kind of like a challenge, but then they have challenge mode, which is basically time trial mode. That's all for this video though, so if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.